Dundee United's Paul Gallagher is likely to keep goal for Scotland in a season that just gets better and better for him. He's been talking to David Tanner. Paul Gallagher had to wait to get a running goal for Dundee United, but when Tannadice number one Alan Combe was given a lengthy ban, 21-year-old Gallagher was called into action. He's made the most of it by notching up six shutouts since the turn of the year. It's been first upon me, but I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, the incident happened with Alan, obviously, after the Hibs game, it's given me a wee chance. I've came in, I think I've took my chance. I've been playing well and I'm enjoying it. Did you expect to play as well as you've done? I don't know if I'm playing too well. To be fair, the team's been doing really well. I've not had a lot to do. Yeah. I think it's only been like, two matches, the St Johnston and the uh, uh, Motherwell game in the Cup. I've had like, bits to do, but other than that, the team's been really good. Great performances. Uh, st stable team now, steady performances. and We're doing well. Can you say how a stable team and a stable defence has helped your confidence? It's, it's been great. Uh, they're not called upon too much in the game. They just clear everything up. Uh, it's just, as I said, since it's the turn of the year, it's been virtually the same team, give or take a few changes. And that's definitely from that, uh, helping us through the season. Now, it's virtually the same team, but is it virtually the same Paul Gallagher? Or can you say if you've become a bit taller and you feel a bit more confident I, in your daily life? I definitely life? feel more confident, yeah. And uh, if you do make a mistake in the game, you just forget about it. Obviously, the fans are a wee bit abused and shout, but you just forget about that. You just go and enjoy yourself. And that's one thing I have learned from it. Just to get on with it. Forget about your mistakes. Just go on with playing the game, that's it. Gallagher's dad, Jim, was a goalkeeper with Clyde Bank in the 1980s, and whilst fatherly advice stood him in good stead, Alex Smith says there's nothing like personal experience. It's amazing the difference it makes on a young player, from being what you would look on as a young, a real young man, and then he comes in and he gets a series of games like that, and it seems to mature them very, very quickly, and you see the difference in them, uh, and uh, the fact that they, they, they feel they're regular and the experience almost uh, puts a year or two onto them and it does it very quickly. Is he going to keep his place as number one at Dundee United or is Alan Coon uh, still got a chance of getting back in? I think if he continues to play the way he's playing, he'll be, he'll be picked uh, to play in the first team uh, as long as he's as consistent as he's shown. Uh, but uh, Alan Coon is also uh, an excellent goalkeeper and his last game for us at Easter Road was superb. Uh, so he'll be keeping him on his toes and <laughs> as you know in football you don't know what's around the corner and they've always got to be prepared for the, with the opportunity or the time uh, when they're called on to come back in again. What's Alan uh, Cove saying about his, uh, his goalkeeping jersey? I mean I would imagine he would fancy getting it back. Yeah, he definitely would but uh, I think he's, he's looking at it and he's saying that I'm doing reasonably well uh, after a few clean sheets. Uh, so it's, it's been hard, the man in possession, if they're doing well, just remains in the team, I think he's accepted that. So it's, it's just up to Alan, he's been doing well, but uh, I just want to keep him out of the team as long as possible. If Alex Smith backs him for country as well as club, Gallagher could earn his ninth under-21 cap this week against Belgium. I think Ryan's, Ryan Essen's first choice in the round, the last two or three injury. So I think he's the man in possession, and as the gaffer says, it's the exact same here. The man in possession, if he's doing well, he'll keep his place, and I see Ryan keeping his place, so it's just up to myself to try and prove them otherwise. That's very modest of you. Do you think it might work to your advantage, the fact that you're now impressing and, of course, the under-21 manager is also your uh, your, your guardian uh, here? Right. Yeah, he's the manager here, but I don't think that's the way to go. Ryan's in position. He's, he's been doing well. He's playing at his club, doing really well. So, no, I think he's definitely first choice. Paul Gallagher first played for Scotland at schoolboy level and whilst playing for the under-15 side, he was involved in a little bit of history by conceding this famous goal. He played against uh, Michael Owen. He actually scored uh, a goal against us. He said it's one of the best he's scored, which is uh, it's nice to be involved in, but obviously scoring against him, it's, it wasn't great. <laughs> but uh, that's just one of the things. Well, you see how Michael uh, grew very quickly after scoring that goal against you. Um, you've had to bide your time. Has, has it been difficult when you've seen younger players like him, even I guess Kenny Miller yeah, coming he's a through early? Different class, obviously. He's, if I put that's just different stuff from here. here. Yeah, I've had to make my time, bide my time as you're saying, but no, I'm happy to do that. Get uh, good coaches here, you know, work hard, just learn the game. I'm all young, till 21, for a goalkeeper that's quite young. So I just want to go, progress and play well and that's it. Now, I understand that your contract is up at the end of the season. Uh, yeah. could, could, <laughs> could Alan Combe's suspension come, up, come at any better time for you? It's been a blessing in disguise really, because obviously I'm up there in the, in the summer. Uh, I want to do well and uh, getting a shot in the first team, getting a few runs in the game, uh, game sorry. Uh, I want to play well show that I'm off a contract and uh, just hopefully the gaffer's watching.